Okay, I got a new piece of PVC here. I uh, put some of this stuff, like four strips of this stuff on the back. I filmed it, but for some reason the camera didn't film that part, but you'll have to trust me. There's four strips on the back of this. Uh, within the sign of the sign, the sign that I'm going to make is within that area, so it should be good. I got two clamps over there holding it down as well, which uh, that's just overkill, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to get my bits ready and uh, zero everything out and load the file and have some fun. All right, I got the program loaded in there, and uh, I have the first bit in, uh, loaded. I homed the machine with that bit, and I zeroed out to this corner. So that sh we should all be set. Now I just got to go to uh, this. That's on auto. Rewind. All right, I'm going to come up here. Yep. Now it is asking for the first bit, which I already have loaded in there. So if I hit, see it's asking for the uh, quarter inch O flute, which is what's in there. I hit the start. There she goes. Alright. That is way back there, touching on that tool setter. There it goes. Touch on the tool setter. Don't come up here. Okay, it's done with the first bit. It all looks great so far. I'm gonna put in the second bit, which I believe is the this one eighth. No, where is it? One eighth inch. Yeah, I have a one eighth inch O flute that's going in next. I'll put that in and key it up and start it up, and off we'll go. All right, eighth inch is loaded up. It's 
I'm waiting for that one eighth O flute. You can see right there. Uh, just hit the cycle start. There it goes. I'm gonna go back to the, to the tool setter. Okay. All right. As soon as it comes back here and starts carving, I'm gonna do a time lapse. I'll do the time lapse again. I know you guys want to, don't want to be bored watching every single second of this thing do what it's doing. Oh, there she goes. Okay, it's asking for the next bit. So far, looking so good. This looks a little weird right here, but I guess that'll make sense later, I hope. But right now the 1 8th is in there, and the next is the 1 16th. Little tiny skinny thing. 1 16th uh, oak flute. I'll put that in and uh, get going again. Okay, I got the 1 16th uh, oak flute loaded up. That's gotta be the skinniest bit I own. I don't have anything skinnier than that. Uh, I know they make skinny right now. They make one thirty second or something, but it's, that's crazy. Uh, okay, there it is. It's cycle start. I'm gonna go back to the uh, back to the tool setter. There it goes. Tool setting away. Come on, just don't break that skinny bit. All right, she's on her way. Okay. getting there looking better and better it's uh still got the this is the one the 1 16th old flute it's asking for the next bit which is the amana 45614 45 degree v bit which uh that's the one right here 
I'll be uh, right here. I'll be putting that one in next. I'll key that up and I'll get you guys going again. Okay. Got the uh, 45 degree uh, B bit in there. That's what it's asking for. We'll hit the cycle start. It should go back to the tool setter like always. Let's see what it does. Hit cycle start. Boom. And there she goes. Touch that tool setter. That pretty much tells it how far that bit has been inserted and then relative, relative to, the, to the zero surface of it. And there she goes. bit carve like, well, fuzzies are I hope those fuzzies come off easy it looks like they will I was trying with my finger a little bit yeah look they come right off see the fuzzies they come right off that's awesome looks great once some fuzzies are brushed off later okay uh, it's asking for the next bit which is I believe this time instead of using my normal go-to for the final profile is a, a bit called the hog from IDC Woodcraft. I will probably have a link in the video for that bit. Even though I'm not using that bit in this video, I really like that bit for cutouts. But I figured, you know what, this is plastic. I've been using O flutes this whole time. Let me try an, a 1 8 O flute for the, uh, for the final profile cut. All right, so I will chuck that bit up here and I'll uh, get that bit chucked up and I'll come right back. Okay, I have the uh, 1 8 O flute chucked in there. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention on that last V carve, um, and if you watched my other video with the final PVC test, I was uh, cutting that final V carve at 25 inches per minute at 14,000 RPMs. This, this last one I stuck with the 14,000 RPMs, but I upped it to 35 inches per minute. And I, I think it did pretty well. I think it did even better this time. It looks really good, I think. Look at this. Fuzzies are coming off pretty easily. That's just with my finger. Hopefully with the nylon brush, it'll come up even better. Come off even easier. But anyway, there's the 1 8 bit. That's the bit it's asking for, the Spatool W03005. 1 8 inch O flute. So there we go. And cycle start. It's, gonna do the, it's doing the usual, going back to the tool setter.
profile cut there. Tool path, whatever you want to call it. I don't think it went quite all the way through, but that's fine. I set it at like 0.49, and this is, you know, five inches thick, so it should be easy to cut out. Now we'll just take a look. Let's see. Let me uh, go back to jogging. Get my Z up. Get this over here. Let's speed this all the way up. Get it all the way out of the way. There we go. Just put this over and put this all the way back. Put it over there. There we go. Now she's out of the way. Let's unclamp this. I should be able to lift this off of here. Mm. This double sided tape boy is really good. It's hard to get off of here. Yeah. There. Okay. Well, I can see through right there. I'm seeing through a little bit. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah. You can see. Yeah. A little light shining through it. That means it's really, really thin right there. And it's shining completely through right there. Okay. Whew. All right, folks. I will let me brush this up and I'll see what it looks like. Okay. Realize a lot of this is being held together with the double sided tape, which is funny. Some of it here. But uh, I wanted to show you this. Look at this stuff. You peel this off, right? And there's absolutely no, there's no stickiness here at all. I could take like, I don't know, it's hard to see, but there's there's nothing there's nothing here. It's amazing. It doesn't leave any sticky residue at all. I love it. Great stuff. I will put a link in the description for this tape. I hate the bars I get with this. You see the black bars that kind of go? That's because of the the lights I'm using. They're LED lights, and they I guess they flicker at a certain rate, and the camera frame rate is a certain rate, and they don't match up, and... Then look at it. I gotta get like fluorescent lights in here or something. All right, okay. I'll get right back to this. This video it took a little while to take off the fuzzies so uh, if you're doing these to sell these signs you know keep in mind the time that it takes it to remove all the fuzzies because it's, it's yeah, probably a, I don't know good maybe an hour extra not even I'd say maybe a half hour it took me to get all the fuzzy things off of here and uh, so far I think this looks great looks a lot better than the first one I made for her and you know, and, and and Doug, Jess and Doug and the whole gang there, so they're gonna love this thing. I gotta make another one for them, but I probably won't film that because it's gonna be about the same thing. Okay, see you guys, and please like and and subscribe if you can. Thank you. Bye.